Hi friends, it's Carolyn Zuck here with C6 Stitch, and today I'm going to do a flip through of the World of Cross Stitching. This is the September 2020 magazine. Um, this is a British magazine, so and it comes out monthly. I really like it. I enjoy it. It's not always uh, pieces that I'll stitch, but I always enjoy looking through magazines and reading the articles and all of that. So I'm excited to share this with you today. Um, so the first up is a furry tail. So every issue they have a furry tails. This is by Lucy Heaton. And I think this is just adorable. I have to cover up the chart here. That's what this notebook is. So it's a little rock star furry tail, which I think is super sweet. Okay. This particular magazine usually gives um, how long they think it will take you to stitch. And they have a lot of um, reader engagement in this magazine, which is nice. So this was a, actually a freebie that, that came with the magazine, which I gave away with my main floss tube. But the chart is in here as well. Uh, so it's this little um, peace and love summer furry. And I think that's also Lucy Heaton, yes. And then they have a, a designer, Fantasy Artist Spotlight. Uh, Ann Stokes is the designer. And then they turn it into a cross stitch. So this is called Forest Magic. The unicorn. Very pretty. So they do highlight. They have a two-page spread of the artist of that, which is nice. <clears throat> and that one, I think, is quite large. A lot of detail, a lot of uh, confetti. And they do talk about how to use the parking method as well. And then there's a lot of viewer letters. Okay, this next one is called Hearts Come Home. It's by Doreen Jones. Let's see if I can. And this is really great. Uh, it could be cards. It's different homes. So if you know somebody who's moving to a new home, could stitch this for them. You have a lot of different types of homes, which is nice. I said they included all those different types of homes. And they're relatively seven to ten hours each is what they um, expect to take. Each issue they have a uh, alphabet. So <laughs> this month's alphabet are frogs. They call it Hoppy Days. It's designed by Jenny Barton. And there's just an example of what the alphabet would look like. And the rest are charts. So I can't show you the rest of the alphabet. But isn't that, that S just cracks me up. Very cute. Oh, here's one. Um... So this is wishes, wishes Granted, so every month they have a designer, Jenny, that takes a request from a reader, and this month's request was a penguin on stilts, because of course. Isn't that cute? So cute. Oh, my friend likes flamingos and her husband likes penguins. We joke all the time about a penguin on stilts being a flamingo. I'd love to surprise them with a cross stitch. So that was the request. Very cute. So this is just full of advice and techniques and tips. The pages that I'm, I'm not showing you that I'm, I'm going over. So it's really just packed full of helpful information, I think. This next one is called Our Little Patch by Jenny Van De Wiel. And this is a great um, kind of autumn farm scene. Isn't that pretty? There's just so much going on. I love it. Everywhere you look with the crops and the background and the sunflowers in the foreground and the house in the back and the greenhouse kind of in the upper center there. Very pretty. This is expected to take about 35 hours. It is full coverage. It's very full coverage. Um, it is 105 high by 115 wide. Um, so every month they have what they call Fabby's Masterclass, um, where they do a design technique. And this one you learn how to stitch a colonial knot, which I don't know how to do. But you get this cute little guy. Is it a, it's not a porcupine. 
um, hedgehog. That's the word I'm looking for. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. Love him. And, and they go over the technique of how to stitch a colonial net. And then, um, so this one they have, it's called Word Up. So they always have a section, they call it Design Library, with lots of little tiny mo motifs. And this, this month's is kind of a topography. So little, so you can make a thank you card, happy birthday, a monogram. They don't have all the letters of the alphabet for the monogram, though. I did notice that because, of course, I'm looking for Z for Zook, um, but they don't have that one. But this will give you an idea of just kind of some of the different motifs, and you can be really creative with what you end up doing with them. Um, and there's lots more, but they're all charts, so I can't really show you. There are some full alphabets, but just not the big monogrammed letters. They probably just picked the most um, common letters for that. This next, so this is called Made to Measure. It's by Rhonda Nori, and this is a, like a gauge. You stitch a gauge. You stitch it, okay, so this is cross-stitch rulers, they're calling. And so one is, so for example, this one is 14 count. And instead of counting, you just line up your ruler with, so if you need to count 80 stitches over, you just line it up to the 80, and you go from there. And they have an 18, 18, 16, and 14 count ruler. Isn't that cute? I think that's such a neat idea. I mean, it's just so clever. And they, of course, they go through how to make it, how to put it all together and everything. Next up is Fuzzy Friends by Ian Hallows. This is a cute little teddy bear holding some sunflowers for you with a little bee up there. Very cute. Now this one, so I know a lot of you are doing the Mayflower Coming to America piece. This issue also has a, to commemorate the 400th anniversary of the world's most historic sea voyages and stitches. It's called Brave New World. It's designed by Jenny Barton. Um, and it's the Mayflower. And up there it says Mayflower 1620. So if you missed out on the Coming to America piece, or you would like to stitch this piece, uh, it's in here. It says it takes 50 hours, but boy, I don't know. There's a lot of color changes in that one. But it would be very, very beautiful. So each month they also do a pet of the month. So people send in pictures of their pets, and Doreen Jones, or somebody will design it. I think it's usually Doreen Jones. So that's the pet of the month. This next one is designed by Amanda Butler. It's called Dream a Little Dream, and it's a dream catcher banner. Should probably... There we go. So you can see the banner. Very pretty. I love the soft colors. And then they just stitched it into a banner. And I think that's it. That is it for this issue. So I hope you enjoyed that flip through and got some ideas. And if you enjoyed anything in this, then um, head on out. I know in the state, Barnes & Noble sells these, so you should be able to find them there. Um, I do get a monthly subscription. It's not terrible. It's about $50 for the year, but it does come out monthly. Um, so I think that's a pretty decent deal, especially coming from the UK. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.